Welcome back to the channel. I'm Scotty G, back at it again. Why do men still get married in the 21st century? I keep seeing this all over the place when it comes to the internet, social media, YouTube channels. A lot of people are under the impression that marriage is dead now that women have leveled the playing field in employment, in careers, and jobs. It's the main reason I started this channel. First of all, if you don't want to get married, don't get married. I'm not here to change the world. I'm here as a dude who's had a great marriage for the past 20 years. I want you to have the same thing even if you don't want to get married and you just want to have a long-term relationship with somebody. Plain and simple. That's what I'm here for. I want to help form families, fix families, and make marriage sexy again. Marriage is alive if you think it isn't. Last year, there were over 2 million weddings in the U.S. alone. That's 4 million people that have gotten married. The divorce rate of 50%, the 50% divorce rate that you hear all the time, that stat is skewed. There are plenty of marriages that last. I know a lot of people that have been married for 30, 40, 50, even 60 years, and they're happy. If you actually look at the percentages of first marriages, the, the divorce rate is closer to 25%. So three quarters of the people that get married stay married. You just see this, the, the, the divorce stats that are taken over all of the relationships, people that get married four or five times, it's skewed. Marriage isn't perfect. I'm not here to claim it is. It does seem to be the best way that humanity has devised for forming a family that lasts and raising children to be productive members of society. Can you have a long-term relationship and have a family that's that thrives? Yeah, I can, I can see that. But marriage just takes it to that next level. So why do men want to get married in this current climate? I'm going to give you five reasons. There are more. This is based on experience, surveys, simple Google searches. There's plenty of material out there, but I want to focus on five different aspects. So number one, love and deep connection, plain and simple. Yes, men can feel deeply connected to a woman, regardless of what you hear on the internet, on TikTok or social media, men can have deep connections to, uh, to one woman in their entire lifetime. That can happen and does happen daily. And marriage is the best way to solidify this commitment lifetime with a woman, period. And yes, we know that contract is only good if both parties are in agreement and if both parties agree. That goes for men and women. So that's number one. And number two, easy access to sex. Men don't want to work hard for sex. We're just lazy in that regard. Dating can be frustrating. It can be expensive. It can be heartbreaking. If you can commit to one person and that person commits to you, you're going to have an easier time when it comes to physical intimacy. That's, that's just the way it is. But if guys can have a committed woman in his life, he's going to think he's going to have action on tap. We all know that's a fantasy over time, though. You still need to work to maintain a connection in a marriage. So you still need to maintain the dating mindset in a marriage. Hence why marriage isn't easy. It's another reason why I started this channel. But that's not what we're talking about in this episode. So that's number two, easy access to sex. Number three, starting a family. There's an instinct within men where we want to carry on a genetic code uh, to the next generation. I personally was the last male of my family to carry on my name. I did feel a little pressure when it came to that and, uh, and starting a family. Women have a little bit different instinct, but they have the same instinct to a, a different degree. Women have a, an instinct to nurture. Men are more about our legacy. That's, that's a big difference between men and women. We're programmed to provide and protect a family. Can you have kids without getting married? Absolutely. Uh, we've Many guys on this planet have proven that, that that's possible. It happens all the time. 
having a child outside of a marriage, you're going to create some problems when it comes to the legal aspects, living arrangements, etc. And, and fellas and ladies too, there's a difference between fathering a child and being a dad, period. In my book, they're two totally different things. When it comes to raising children in a home without a father, studies are consistent. Kids who grow up without a father in the home are at, at a major disadvantage in life. You're talking more prisoners. You're talking more crime. You're more mental problems. Uh, fathers have a tendency to prepare children for adulthood. That's, that's our job. We provide and protect and we teach. If a child grows up without a father in the home, problems can happen. Is it always like that? No. Can you have kids without being married? Yes. It just complicates things if you're not married. So that's number three. Number four, the financial and health benefits of being married. The tax benefits, the tax write-offs, the tax credits. I know that's a weak argument, but it's true. That is definitely a, a benefit to being married. The nurturing aspect of a woman in your life is a huge benefit for men. Not all women are nurturing, but most have that instinct to nurture their man, their children. It's, it's there. It's in, it's in the code. One fascinating thing that I see over and over in, in studies, in relationships, in the literature, is that married men have a tendency to outlive unmarried men by about six to seven years. There's something to that whether it be the woman taking care of them, cooking, uh, and just being there, regular sex, all of these things make a difference in a man's life. It's going to cause less stress. He's going to be more fulfilled in a job. If he's providing for a family, most likely he's going to have more life satisfaction and, and honestly will make you feel better. Less stress equals longer life. So that's number four. Number five, society family, and religious pressure. This is one of the negative spots of marriage, in my opinion. This is where things can get a little bit more ugly. The social status. A man that's married is going to have social status. Men who can attract and convince a woman to commit to them, especially if it's a desirable woman, a beautiful woman, somebody that's got their, their act together, that man is automatically going to have inherited status. Being married means that he has the ability to persuade a woman to marry him. So most of the time, he's not going to be an axe murderer, right? He's going to have the skills, the communication skills, the, the humor, the, the provider skills, the protection skills. All of these things are what women look for in a man. And if he has that ring on his finger, that's social status to, to many people, um, whether you agree with it or not, it, it's true. So let's talk about family pressure. There's a scene in the movie fight club that I'm pretty fond of, uh, Tyler Durden, uh, the main character, he's talking to his buddy on a, on the, the subway talking about life in general. And he's talking about annual talks with his father after high school. And he goes, so what now, dad, this is after high school. Uh, and he goes, go to college. Okay, well, I finished college, he calls up dad, and he asks him, what now? And he goes, get married. <laughs> and he says it in a sarcastic way. And it's such a sarcastic way that it stuck with me. That's what I mean about family pressure. You know, if you have to go through life in a, in a certain sequence, if you feel pressured to do that, most likely, you're probably going to make some bad decisions down the road. And, uh, and some, some of those decisions are avoidable. And some of those decisions are something that you're going to realize 10, 15 years down the road. So that's family pressure. So family can be the best thing ever for some, and it can be a total nightmare for others. I hear it all the time. So marital pressure from family can be devastating for a man or a woman. Your choice of, of who you marry is perhaps the most important decision that you'll make in your life. And guys, check out this video right here uh, for a little bit of information on five green flags to look for in a woman. I don't want to get in the weeds too much with religion. It can be a great thing and it could be a devastating thing either way. So 
obviously there are more factors to this, but these are the biggest factors that I wanted to point out. There are just five, five different reasons. Can you accomplish all of these things without being married? Yes and no. The first three are possible connection, sex, and kids. You can have all three of those things without being married, but you can't have the, the financial benefits and part of the, the, the religious aspects of things. For me, what it comes down to is culture. If you're good with living your life unmarried, it's all good. Nobody's, nobody's forcing you to get married. I'm not forcing you to get married. I'm not here to convince you to get married. Now, if you are in the marriage camp, stick around and I'll help you try to live the best married life possible. So like, share, and subscribe to the channel. Join my free Facebook group, Marriage Isn't Dead, and stay tuned. So until next time, be better than you were yesterday and be desirable.